many famous UFO sightings occur in remote locations with just a single eyewitness. But not all of them. Some sightings have taken place over large cities and hundreds of people have watched. Join us as we investigate the most famous mass sightings of UFOs, each one supported by countless eyewitnesses, all looking for the answer to one question. Are aliens visiting Earth? We all want to know for sure, do aliens exist? And have they visited Earth? Many experts believe that only one type of UFO encounter can promise hard evidence of the existence of aliens. A mass sighting. August 16th, 1954, Antananarivo, Madagascar. Dozens of Air France personnel have just received a large mail delivery and are quietly chatting near one of the busiest streets in Madagascar's capital. Suddenly, someone points to the sky and everyone on the street is stunned by what they see. A mass UFO sighting is an event that occurs where not one, not two, but multiple eyewitnesses will see the event. This is very important because when you only have one witness that has a story, or maybe even two, they can easily be mistaken. What you want is a mass sighting in a city where they don't have the intent of finding a UFO. And those do occur. They're rare, but they absolutely do occur. Unsealed case file, the Madagascar incident. Thousands of people witnessed a strange object. It appeared at first as a green plasma heading for the ground, and people thought perhaps it was some sort of fireball or meteor. In all, uh, it's almost impossible to assess how many people saw this thing, but it was certainly uh, hundreds, if not thousands, possibly tens of thousands. They expected after it dipped behind a hill that it was actually going to crash and they expected a big explosion, but there was no explosion. A few moments later, they saw the craft again and it seemed like it had increased a bit in size visually from, from their vantage point. And they see that there is not only that one UFO, but then a second metallic shaped UFO object that seemed to be trailing it. Witnesses also describe a flame shooting out from behind the second UFO. Was it alien? Was it a top secret program? We simply don't know. But the reality of having well over a thousand witnesses to this, of highly educated, trained personnel, and when they look at something and they go, this is not like anything we've ever seen before, that's something that they knew uh, was not explainable. Witnesses included Air France technical personnel, including uh, Monsieur Compagnac, uh, who was a former military officer and one of the key witnesses. Compagnac describes a lens-shaped green plasma-like object the size of a DC-4 aircraft and it's being followed by a smaller, silent, metallic UFO. These two objects passed directly over the town, witnessed by hundreds, maybe thousands of people. And he is a former um, military officer and a highly competent scientist for Air France, was clearly an extremely reliable witness. Years later, the French government performs a comprehensive study of UFOs, and the Madagascar incident is seen as a key piece of evidence. Monsieur Compignac told his story to Kamita, and it was one of the reasons, perhaps, why sensationally, Kamita concluded that some UFOs may well 
be extraterrestrial in origin. When you see an unexplained craft in the sky, of course it could potentially be man-made. There's always that possibility. But this was 1954. We are now well into the 21st century. If this was technology that was our own, if this was manufactured by humans here on Earth, my guess is we see something like this already.